I use Outlook to manage my email messages and calendar. And when it comes to tracking my tasks and to-do items, Outlook is the first place I turn to. Working with tasks is even easier with Outlook 2007 thanks to the new to-do bar. The to-do bar lets me see at a glance my upcoming meetings, appointments, and to-do items. A to-do item is essentially any Outlook item that has been flagged. And flagging an item is now even faster. For example, I need to follow up on this email message from Judy. The fastest way to add this message to my to-do list is to flag the message. So I right-click the message and then click a due date. The message now appears in the to-do bar. Adding a new item to track, no matter how big or small, is simple. In the to-do bar, there's a place for me to add new items. I type the subject and then press enter. And with Outlook, tracking and prioritizing items is simple. I can open any to-do or task item and then set priorities, start and due dates, and even track my progress for a particular item. Tasks aren't just for tracking things I need to do. Outlook allows me to assign tasks to other people and provides a way for them to send me status reports. I can assign the task to Judy and then send it to her. Here's what Judy sees. When Judy accepts the task, it's added to her task list and appears on her to-do bar. At any time, she can update the task and send me a status report by clicking Send Status Report in the Manage Task group. She can also add any comments. Now, back in my Outlook inbox, when I open the task update message, I see the latest status. I can also open the task at any time in Outlook and see the current status. Any updates Judy has sent are reflected on the task item. This sure beats keeping track of status reports in email messages. The to-do bar helps me stay on top of my tasks by allowing me to customize the to-do bar to best suit my needs. I can choose whether I want to see the to-do bar in full view, in a minimized view, or completely turned off. I can even choose how many of my upcoming appointments and meetings are shown. On the View menu, point to To-Do Bar, and then click Options. Here in the To-Do Bar options, I can also choose how many months of the calendar appear and whether tasks appear in the To-Do Bar. And when I need a larger, full view of my tasks, I can use the Task View. In this view, I can quickly arrange the information that best meets my needs. For example, I can view only completed tasks, active tasks, or tasks by category. Now that I'm organized in Outlook, a reminder notifies me when an item is due. However, I can change when the Outlook reminder occurs. That way I have advance notice that I have an item almost due. To change the reminder, I open an item, and in the Options group, click Follow Up, and then click Add Reminder. The reminder, by default, is set for the due date. I can change the reminder time to make sure I'm not scrambling at the last minute on a task. Whether a simple reminder or tracking a larger project, it's easy with tasks and the to-do bar in Outlook 2007.